Pressure, remember, is a measure of the force of the particles bouncing off of a given area on their container. The SI unit for pressure is atmospheres, but we commonly see pressure represented as pounds per square inch, kilopascals, millimeters of mercury, inches of mercury, or millibars. For this series of labs, we will be using the default measure of pressure in Logger Pro, which is kilopascals. In this second part of three labs describing the pressure of a gas, we are going to look at how the pressure changes when the temperature of a gas is changed. Now the other two labs in this series deal with the effects of the number of particles and the volume on the pressure of a gas. So for this lab, we want to keep both of those conditions at a constant. For this procedure, you will need a lab quest, a connector tube, a test tube the size of the stopper apparatus in your box, a gas pressure sensor, a temperature sensor, and a tall 500 milliliter beaker filled with ice water. Attach the connector tube to the gas pressure sensor and the stopper apparatus. Be sure the test tube is tightly sealed. Add the test tube to the ice water. On top of the lab quest is a variety of plugins. The temperature sensor plugs into the USB port and the gas pressure sensor plugs into the channel 1 port. When these are plugged in, the LabQuest automatically begins taking data. Note again, the default is time-based. In the main menu, where you probably still are, from the Sensors menu, choose Data Collection. This will open up a menu page that will allow you to change the mode to Events with Entry. In this case, we are going to do some graphical manipulation to get the graph we want, so we are just going to leave this event called Event. Before we take data, we need to start our data collection. There is a button on the screen, as well as on the lab quest, that looks just like the button in Logger Pro. Press this. Once data collection is started, we can keep a data point by selecting the Keep button next to the Start button. Now in this lab, we want to be sure that our temperature and pressure have stopped changing before we keep our data. So be sure to look at the numbers on the left and make sure that they are stable. When the event window pops up, just number these data points consecutively. For your next data point, you want to have a different temperature. Now you may have noticed that there are large beakers of boiling water placed strategically around the room. Pour about 100 milliliters of water out of your ice water beaker. Add about 100 milliliters of the boiling water to the ice water. Put your test tube back into this beaker and take another data point. Continue this process until you have around 10 data points. After you have taken all of your data, you have one more measurement you need to take. Up on the demonstration table at the front of the room is a beaker filled with ice salt water. Find the pressure at this temperature as well. When you have finished taking data, save your file on the lab quest. Just go up to File, Save, and give it a name. There is a USB connection cord that will plug the lab quest into a computer. Do this and then open Logger Pro. You will probably get a message that asks if you would like to retrieve the data from the lab quest. Yes, yes, you would. You want to import the data into the current session. In the event that you do not get a message asking if you would like to import your data, you can still find it if you have saved it to your LabQuest. Under File, choose LabQuest Browser and Open. Find your file and choose Open. This looks scary, but just click on Continue Without Data Collection at the bottom of the box. And you end up with something like this. Since we are using two different data sensors, the LabQuest took two different sets of data during each event. Event 1 has a data point for temperature and a data point for pressure. Our question has to do with how pressure is related to temperature, so we want to combine these two variables into a single graph. Luckily, this is fairly simple to do. Choose the graph with pressure already on the y-axis, in this case the blue one. 
Click on the event label on the x-axis and change it to temperature. Delete the temperature graph above by selecting the graph, maybe, and clicking delete. Then you can resize your pressure and temperature graph from here. Now if we look at this data, we can see that it does have a pretty general linear fit. We have a couple iffy data points here, but if we do a linear fit, we get a pretty good best fit line. So go ahead and do your linear fit and print your graph. Print your graph and data table and add it to your lab notebook. Save your data to the desktop. Then write down the computer you are using. You are going to need this graph again. So before coming to lab, you need to have a few things set up in your lab notebook. Notice again we have constants in our experiment. In this case, we are keeping volume constant by using a glass container. We are also keeping the number of particles constant by keeping the container sealed.